I'm Josh Malone with the Abolitionist Society of Oklahoma, and I'm about to do something that is supremely presumptuous, or some would say. Um, I'm going to rewrite a Christmas song, or I have rewritten a Christmas song. Um, and the only reason that I don't consider it presumptuous is because it's already been done to this song once. Many of you are familiar with the song O Holy Night. Uh, it's a hymn written originally in French as Minuit Chrétiennes. Um, the, the original French contained much rich Christology and much rich um, theology of the Incarnation and why Christ came to earth and a lot of things like that. But when it was translated to English, it was translated by a transcendentalist uh, Unitarian who denied the deity of Christ and uh, consequently ripped out the Christology in the lyrics. So the original French version, if you look it up online, is much richer than what we typically sing about angels singing and everybody happy in the serene night of uh, you know Christ's birth. It talks about the imputation of debt from our father Adam. It talks about Christ coming to bear the wrath of the Father, uh, and many other themes like that. So I'd encourage you to look it up, compare it to the lyrics of the first verse that I have rewritten, um, and basically tried to recapture what was you know, in the original French. But the reason I chose this song is because its popularity was gained from being an abolitionist hymn. Many of you know the verse, truly he taught us to love one another, his law is love and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break for the slave is our brother. You know, the whole am I not a man and a brother. Like slaves should be freed because they are redeemed by the same Savior in light of who they are in Christ. And so um, it, it, it got my attention because that's why it was into, you know, translated into English. That's why um, it, it became the famous song that everyone knows today. But you probably haven't thought about that verse in light of slavery. When, when it was originally sung, though it became popular, it was also controversial. It was saying, no, 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 slave owners, you should stop owning slaves. It was, it was calling sin out in the congregation via song. It was saying, this thing is wicked because the slave is our brother. So it surely wasn't <laughs> an easy song for many people to listen to. Um, but, but it connected who we are in Christ as freed former slaves to what we should do to our neighbor as in free the oppression, release them from their bondage um, to earthly masters. And so in a similar way, um, I'm trying to recapture that spirit and, and I completely wrote new a second verse for this song. Um, and it, it's basically on the theme of who we are, who we were as unwanted children, unplanned, undesirable, um, but yet we have been adopted. And, and Christ abolished death by adopting us into his family. And uh, it, it connected very much to Christ by, by walking through um, you know, stuff that, content that we've put in different forms um, to the AHA page before, but how Christ entered the world. He chose the very situation that many people say this is justification for um, abortion and for, for discarding your children is if you're poor, if the father's not present, um, you know, if it was unplanned or un unexpected, if it wasn't the result of consensual sex, um, all of those sorts of um, things, they, they say this is cause, this is reason that we should um, be able to kill our children. But Christ stepped into the world and sanctified that very thing that, um, that many people look as um, a, a very disreputable or, or, or um, poor environment for a child to be raised in. So um, consider this song, um, you know, think about it, weigh it, and, and I would, my, my hope and my goal is that this song becomes much more than a Christmas song to all of us, as it was originally, that it becomes an abolitionist hymn that people sing people um, remember the truths of who we are in Christ and what ought we do for our neighbor. So I hope you enjoy. Oh, holy night, the eve of restoration, tonight the pure Lamb of God is come to Our 
our father's imputation to cleanse the church and at last to break the curse. Oh, glorious hope, our God is faith dependent, has come to bear our sin upon Oh, no.